to do it. How, how important was it for you to get this done and be able to be in a position to finish up the second? Yeah, man. I mean, it was it was very important, and I think I said it so many times. Like, I want to be here. Uh, wouldn't wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Um, these fans, this organization. Um, I mean, just my career here. I think it just it, it, it's the icing on the cake to be able to say that you know I, I I won't really have to go anywhere you know else to play football. Just leave it all here. So uh, thankful for the organization. That, um, be able to get this done. You said like, it's just two more though. Like, could there be one, another one on the other side of this, or are you looking at it like the next two and then go from there? Let's just go from there. I think it's been it's been uh, it's been enough time trying to get this done. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, uh, just think it just just really more so. And I I mean it with, when I say this. Like I'm so focused on just playing. Like and that's been my whole mo. Like when I said it in camp. Like I'm not. As much worried about a contract, I'll worry about it after the season. But obviously, we got it done. But I mean, I'm just worried about you know now, kind of trying to turn things around and, and trying to get it going in the right direction. Because I think we got a lot of talent. Um, I think we got a lot of ability, and we're capable of doing something good here. So um, it don't feel good losing five in a row. We got to flip it around. <coughs> Man, um, again, I've been here my whole career. I don't feel like there's another place like New Orleans, uh, quite honestly. I think me leaving here and trying to go and find somewhere else, because there's the reality of it. I could have waited to the end of the season and then just said, all right, I'm going to you know, visit here, find where I'm going. But I don't think it does me any justice. It doesn't serve me any, I don't think, to, to go somewhere and chase. I mean, you could, you could say you're chasing Super Bowls, you're chasing a better organization better coaches that like it doesn't I don't I don't think that's the that's the answer I mean this city's been loyal to me uh, this organization has been loyal to me um I don't feel like I would get this same feeling that I get putting on the floor to lead anywhere else so I think it, it was just important for me and I, I I keep saying it and you know you say it and then people are like no he's lying he's lying and I'm like <laughs> like I'm for real I wouldn't I wouldn't lie about that you know if, if it was if it was the other way around then Nobody will hear anything, and it'll just happen, right? So um, I think it, it was it was really important for me to just uh, you know stay buckled down here, and you know figure it out whenever it got figured out. And you know yesterday was the day. Um, I think it's it's just special. It's just special here. I don't think I think I would lose my flame if I if I went somewhere else, honestly. Like and I, and I was talking to my mom about it. And she was like, yeah, just stay. You know, my mom don't really know too much about football. She's just like, yeah, it's, it's easy. She's, she's looking at convenience, but I'm really looking at the bigger picture and just understanding that, you know, for my legacy and, and for, you know, for me personally, as it, my, my mind and just body, everything, I just feel like this is the place for me, you yeah. know. You, you, you're self-proclaimed negative, Nancy. This is mm -hmm. flies in the face of that. Why, why, is, why, why are things not as bleak as? Yeah, I think, I, man, like I said, I think we got, I think we got the right mix here. I think we got the right uh, players um, in the in the building. I think we got the right, you know, I think we got the right mindset. Um, we just gotta, we gotta get, we gotta get going. We gotta get on a good foot. We gotta be more detailed. We gotta come out and 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 be hungrier. And we gotta be, understand that, you know, we don't have time. There's there's no time to to say, okay, well, we'll get them next week or we'll. Every week has to, we have to have a. a a mindset of you know this is it, we got to win, we have to win, you know um, it's not I'm not really into making excuses as to you know well uh, oh we just didn't get it get it done or we'll be better next week like we got to be better we got to be better this week um, because you know that's how this league is uh, it's, it's it's very competitive and you don't want to you don't want to get behind it you don't want to have a a feeling or 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 a cloud over your 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 team of where like you know because i I've, I've been the team that. We, where where it was like, man, we're going to win, period. And, you know, when you're that team, you go into games and you look at teams and you're like, oh, we're going to beat, we're gonna beat them. And I feel like, you know, it, it's been kind of reversed for me these past couple of years. Like, I feel like people are kind of getting that, that feeling on us, like, oh, we're going to beat them. Like, they're not a very good team when, in actuality, we t across the board, I mean, minus the, the injuries, we're, we, we stack up with anybody. Um, 
So I think we just got to get back to understanding and, and really realizing that, you know, we we're, we we can be a great team. I mean, I, I don't like to go to those first two games because it don't really matter at this point. But, I mean, you see when we're hitting on all cylinders, you know, what, what it could be. And I think it's up to the leaders, um, the Mario Cam, Derek, Taysom, some guys like that, E. McCoy, um, uh, Marshawn, like just to to, to kind of get everybody feeling back right, get everybody's heads back right, um, player wise, you know, um, make make sure the uh, the locker room understands that you know we got the right pieces here, we don't have to go and try to search for too much uh, anywhere else. We just got to get healthy and get on the right right track and and just be be accountable. Because, I mean, that's the name of this game, accountability. If you don't do your job, then it's your fault. And right now, we none of us are really doing our jobs because we're not winning. So it's something collectively that we have to get right in, in the building to be able to, you know, get the results we want. Those are wins. When you said on that, that tweet Saturday, like shooting down that trade, mm-hmm. did you realize like a, like a little bit of a contract was close? So it happened? I don't know. I don't know. I was just on the way to Knoxville, me and my, me and my, my good buddy, and I, I caught a flat in Chattanooga, and I went to a discount tire and, and got a. Um, <laughs> you, you know what's so funny about that? Look, I, I'm going, I'm on the way to Tennessee. I stop, I'm, I'm in Chattanooga. My boy is driving. He catches a flat, and my boy Dion catches a flat. Boom! I'm like, dang! So you know the tire go flat. We get off on the exit. I'm looking up a tire place, and it's like noon or something. I don't know whatever time it was. So I'm like, dang. It's going to take a minute to get a tire. So we go to the tire spot. And, you know, you go in. It's like, hey, I need a tire. And they're like, all right, we got you in like an hour, hour 45. We can get it done. So, you know, there's a lot of people sitting in there. So I'm like, I got my hood on. You know how I am I got my hood on. I'm chilling. So I walk out. And he was like, let me go see the car. I walk out. He walks out with me. I'm like, I'm like, hey, bro, um, I'm Alvin Kamara. I'm trying to make it to Knoxville. <laughs> so he's like, oh, my God, I knew it was you. So shout out to him. I forgot his name. But. He uh he got my tire changed, but saying all that to say, I didn't know. Maybe I knew, but I was on the way to Knoxville to go see them and get a good win. Did you shoot down the tweet while you were waiting for your tire? Yes, that's what. I, yeah, that's that's what I was. That's what they. Yeah, I lost track. Um, yeah, I did shoot it down. And I was just sitting there and I was just laughing about it because, you know, I think, um, y'all know me pretty well by now. It's not really too much information coming from my side, um, unless you hear it straight from me. So when I saw that, I'm like, first of all, who is this guy? Because I got a lot of a lot of that stuff is muted on my socials, like football, anything is kind of muted. So my friend sent it to me, and I'm like, I go and look at it, and I'm like, who is this? I'm like fantasy something? I'm like, man, what? So I ain't been on social nothing. I'm like, let me go ahead and shoot this down. Let me embarrass this dude because <laughs> where he get this from? And then I just my phone started blowing up, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm on the way to Tennessee, so. Mm-hmm. Just kind of shift the weight to it. Does this work on this contract since the summer? Has this something happened in the last week or so that, you know? Um, so me personally, I was when I, when I gave that statement of, like, I'm just going to play football and get it done at the end of the year, that was kind of my tone. Um, my agent, Brad Sakala, uh, shout out to him because I think he was doing some work behind my back. But, you know, that's, that, sometimes it's a good thing. Um, he was he was you know talking keeping keeping talks open with with Kai and Mickey and those guys and um, kind of just kept it open kept it kept it going back and forth because he'll call me and ask me about it and I'm like man I, Brad don't call me about <laughs> contracts like I feel I feel good right now I'm just playing like I mean I feel as good as I can obviously with all the injuries and stuff but I said I feel good I, I'm in the right mind my, uh, state of mind like there's no anger or animosity like for not being able to get it done it was just like man it, it'll It'll work itself out when it works out, you know. So, um, you know, I think in the last week and a half, two, Brad kind of got to me. He was like, "Hey, we can, we got a chance to get this done." And I'm like, "Mm -hmm." you know, because I feel like I'm in in a different zone. So I try not to, I try to limit distractions, and it's a good thing. But for me, it felt like, man, like I just didn't want it. This whole time, I didn't want it to be a kind of like a a self-centered thing, or like I'm trying to get a contract and I'm trying to do this contract. So. I feel like I've been doing a good job of like kind of pushing it to the back and like nobody's been focused on it, nobody's been talking about it. Um and it just hasn't been a 
a focal point of, you know, in the building, I think, you know, for, for the masses, for everybody. Obviously, I, I knew about it, but I was kind of pushing it to the back because I just felt good playing. I'm trying to get some wins and stuff, but Brad kept pushing it, so y'all can thank Brad. I'll, I'll call, call Brad and have him talk to y'all. <laughs> Make it more funny, I guess, to, to see this thing pop up. Like, oh, yeah. The yeah. The I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, wh where the rumors come from? I don't know. I, I, I almost went along with it, but I was like, nah, this this, this too. That would be sore. That would be a bad a bad thing to do. To yeah, it'll be yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't have been good. That probably would have made some people mad. But yeah, it's just I don't know. I don't you gotta cut you gotta give a credible source. You can't just say a source. And I think he I think he it said from Chef it, it said from Adam. Yeah, he made a whole I was like, man I'm like, how do you I don't know. I guess he got I guess he got the news he wanted. I guess he got the traction he wanted. Uh yeah, I think I think it does. Obviously, uh, the money that's gonna hit my account don't hit everybody else's account. But <laughs> I know they're looking at it like, man, that's that's cool. Cause um, anytime anytime you get paid, not speaking me, just you know, I see a teammate get paid, and I'm like, man, that's you know, it's dope. Like, cause it's what we a lot of these dudes is doing it for. You know, they're doing it for the money to change change uh, their families' lives, and you know, obviously, this is um, just another ba uh, another bag of money that I, that I'm being able to get realistically. Um, you know, my life has already changed and, you know, to be able to do it again and, you know, get some more money and, and you know, how to support the, uh, the organization, um, it, it means everything, like I said. So um, just it wouldn't make any sense for me to, to lead the city or lead this organization because I just feel like I think it's we, we, we're one in the same now, like we intertwine. It, it wouldn't even look right, I don't think. I don't even think it would be like Venom, like when, when <laughs> if I put on another uh, – Uniform, like I'll be, it'll probably be like my real self trying to rip away from the, from the other uniform. So, um, I'm here, man. I, I, I love this city, love this team. Can I follow up on that? Like, do you think it also sends a message about because the trade deadline is two weeks away? Like, mm -hmm. That this team doesn't have an intention to sell, and that you guys are still. Yeah, I, yeah. So, with all that, I don't really know how like the cap and stuff, all that works. So. I don't know what it. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't think. I don't think so. I, I didn't hear anything. If, if um, I go talk to Mickey and them, and I'll ask them, and I'll make sure to come tell y'all <laughs> if he has that plan. I mean, it felt good. You know, see, C's is crazy. He's out there. He he's moving around. Lucas, uh, Taysom, obviously, he's out there, jolly, all happy and stuff. Um, you know, I mean, it, it. When when guys get hurt, and I can speak to it too, because. You know, you, you, you're doing so much rehab and you kind of out of the loop as far as, you know, being out at practice and being around the guys because you're trying to fight to get back. So you lose some of that time and you lose some of those personalities. So when they come back, you know, it just it feels good. So it felt good to have those guys out there. And then obviously I haven't been at, out at practice too much, um, just mainly walkthroughs and kind of just light, limited practice. But just being out there the whole time today, I mean, it felt good. It's, just, it felt, it's a good feel. Yeah, I mean, like I said, he was out there happy, jolly, ready to go. So having him out there is another weapon. It just kind of takes some of the load off off the whole offense. Um, and I know he's ready. He's been itching. He's sitting on the sideline kind of. I, I I know Taysom real well. So, you know, he, he's real calm and collected. But I know he's been itching to get back on the field. So it'll be good to see him. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like just a little bit I wasn't really thinking about it like that. I'm like, <laughs> I got a, I got a good, um, I got a good PT that that works on me, Jose Tienda. Um, put in a lot of hours. You know, you can't. He, I, his, his nickname is Mr. Miyagi. He can't heal bones, but he do, he do, he he get close. So, um, you know, we come in every week and we kind of just assess where everything is at and we just come up with a plan like by by Sunday we got to get to this percent or even when I when I broke my hand and I came to him and I'm like man JT is broke dog he like okay well Sunday we'll be able to do this I'm like yo you do you hear me my hand is broke and he's like no nah, we good we're gonna figure it out so as long as I can do that and you know just try to figure out ways to to get 
you know, as close to 100 as I can on, on Sunday because the reality of this league, nobody's 100%. If you're 100%, then you might be Superman or something and they need to drug test you. But um, <laughs> nobody's 100% in this league, so it's a race every week to get back to that. And um, as long as I feel like I can protect myself um, on the field, then I'm going I'm to go, you know. Um, I think more than anything, it was – it. You know, everybody's like, man, why are you playing? Why are you playing? Even some of my friends like, bro, you broke your hand, broke this rib, hip. And I'm like, man, I just, I don't know. I'm just in a different state of mind. Like, it wasn't even because I, the contract wasn't done. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to prove that this, that, that. Like, man, I've been doing this for eight years. I've been playing, been producing, and I feel like I still can produce. Y'all have asked me that before. Like, how do your body feel? How do you feel? You feel like you can still play. And I, and I feel like I can still play. So, as long as I'm healthy, healthy enough to go out on the field and, and feel like I can get the same production, um, then I'm gonna go out there and do that. You know, with within within reason. What game did you break your hand? Um, Monday night. And how did you break your hand? Routine, just trying to keep myself up on the sideline. Went out, put my hand down, trying to keep myself up. And, uh, is that on your ribs still technically broken? Or yeah, technically. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, nah, you know, yeah. I done did it twice now, so. Just to be clear, you well, discount tire, discount tire. Yeah, yeah. It was discount tire or something. Tire discount something. I asked him for a discount at the end. He didn't give me one. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any access to like emergency pit crews in the state of Tennessee. Ah, you know, I think we're a little far from Bristol, so uh, next time I'll call Steve Phelps and see if he can give me a pit crew. Get me right. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Yeah.